Hi everyone. Welcome to our video about the Wappen von Hamburg from the year 1669, a remarkable example of an armed merchant ship from the Hanseatic city of Hamburg. This ship was built to protect Hamburg's rich trade routes from pirates and hostile attacks. With its strong armament, it was well suited for both the protection of merchant ships and military missions. In the 17th century, Hamburg was in a pivotal phase of its maritime history. The city was one of the most important trading centers in Northern Europe and part of the Hanseatic League, a loose alliance of merchants and cities that dominated trade in the Baltic and North Sea regions. Hamburg's geographic location on the Elbe River and its connection to the North Sea made it a central hub for goods from all over Europe, but also an enticing target for pirates and hostile forces. The increasing threats at sea forced the city to invest in the protection of its trade routes. Piracy was a constant danger, particularly from privateers and pirates operating in the North Sea and Atlantic. Countries like England, France, and the Netherlands were often embroiled in conflicts, and these geopolitical tensions led not only to attacks from enemy states but also from privateers who targeted merchant ships. Pirates such as the notorious Vitalian Bruder, as well as privateers acting on behalf of foreign powers, were on the hunt for the valuable goods carried by Hamburg's ships. In this context, ships like the Wappen von Hamburg became essential. They served as armed escorts for the lucrative trade convoys traveling between the ports of Europe. These convoys transported precious goods such as spices, fabrics, and metals, a true treasure trove for pirates. The Wappen von Hamburg was heavily armed to repel attacks and played a crucial role in protecting Hanseatic ships. Without such escorts, it would have been nearly impossible for Hamburg's merchants to conduct their business safely. Particularly dangerous were the so-called privateers, who operated on behalf of foreign governments and held official letters of mark authorizing them to capture enemy ships. These privateers, often in the service of England or the Netherlands, took advantage of international conflicts to attack and loot heavily laden merchant ships. North African pirates, known as Barbary Corsairs, also threatened Mediterranean trade, making it perilous for merchants to sail without protection. The Wappen von Hamburg was therefore not only a symbol of Hamburg's strength but also a practical tool for securing the city's economic interests. It was part of a defense strategy that enabled Hamburg to continue flourishing as a trading metropolis despite the dangers of the seas. In 1669, the Wappen von Hamburg was built as one of the most significant ships of its time. The construction took place at the Hamburg shipyard under the supervision of experienced shipbuilders, who were closely aligned with the city's trade and defense interests. The goal was to create a ship that could not only protect the city's trade but also defend itself against the increasing threat from pirates and hostile privateers. The Wappen von Hamburg was primarily intended to serve as an armed merchant ship, but it also played an important role in military operations. The ship was impressively large for its time. It was about 40 meters in length and 10 meters wide, providing enough space for both the storage of trade goods and a powerful armament. The Wappen von Hamburg was equipped with up to 54 cannons, strategically placed across several decks to repel attacks from all directions. The crew consisted of around 150 to 200 men, responsible for both navigation and operating the cannons. In comparison, pirate ships were usually smaller, often carrying only 20 to 30 cannons, which gave them greater maneuverability but less firepower in battle. The construction of the Wappen von Hamburg was based on the most advanced shipbuilding techniques of the time. It was designed as a full-rigged ship, with three masts and a sturdy hull made of oak, providing protection from the harsh conditions of the open sea as well as enemy attacks. The use of heavy timbers and reinforced rigging made the ship stable and resilient against the waves of the Atlantic and the North Sea. 
Additionally, the wide deck allowed for optimal placement of the cannons, maximizing firepower and extending the range of the ship's artillery. Another advantage of the Wappen von Hamburg was its versatility. Unlike pirate ships, which were often designed only for swift attacks, this ship could be used both for transporting valuable goods and for protecting trade convoys. It was robust enough to endure long voyages and strong enough to defend against multiple enemy ships simultaneously. Pirates, sailing on smaller, more agile vessels like brigantines or sloops, would have struggled to stand up against such a well-armed and large ship. The advanced technologies used in the construction of the Wappen von Hamburg also gave it a decisive edge in speed. The shape of the hull and the complex rigging allowed the ship to sail efficiently even in unfavorable winds. The Wappen von Hamburg was ahead of its time and successfully defended Hamburg's interests on the dangerous trade routes of the era. The Wappen von Hamburg played a central role in protecting the Hanseatic trade routes and was deployed in numerous operations and voyages to defend Hamburg's economic interests. The city of Hamburg, which relied heavily on trade with countries like Spain, England, the Netherlands, and Scandinavia, used the Wappen von Hamburg to transport its valuable goods across dangerous sea routes. At a time when pirates and privateers posed a constant threat, this ship was indispensable. One of its main tasks was escorting trade convoys through the North Sea and the Atlantic. These areas were notorious for attacks by privateers, often funded by rival nations to disrupt Hanseatic trade. The Wappen von Hamburg participated in numerous escort missions, where it not only defended merchant ships but also responded to aggressive attacks. Throughout its service, the Wappen von Hamburg also sailed in the Baltic Sea, where trade routes to Scandinavian countries and Russia were of strategic importance. In this region, pirates were less active, but military tensions with Sweden and Denmark posed a constant threat. The ship had to navigate these waters carefully to avoid potential attacks from enemy fleets. One of the most notable missions of the Wappen von Hamburg occurred during a conflict with the Netherlands. At the time, the Dutch were one of the leading naval powers, and their privateers posed a serious threat to Hanseatic trade. The Wappen von Hamburg was tasked with escorting a particularly valuable convoy carrying goods such as spices, precious metals, and fabrics. During this voyage, it encountered Dutch privateers, and the Wappen von Hamburg demonstrated its firepower and maneuverability, successfully defending the convoy. In addition to its military duties, the Wappen von Hamburg undertook numerous trade missions on behalf of Hamburg's wealthy merchants. The ship transported not only goods but also passengers, including diplomats and merchants conducting business in other European cities. These missions took the ship to Europe's major trading centers such as London, Lisbon, and Amsterdam. Each of these voyages was a challenge, as the ship had to navigate not only treacherous seas but also political tensions and potential hostilities. The arrival of the Wappen von Hamburg in foreign ports was often seen by local rulers as a sign of respect from the city of Hamburg. Much like the modern-day visits of large warships to foreign ports, this often led to celebrations and festive banquets. Despite its outstanding capabilities and experienced crew, the Wappen von Hamburg was not immune to the dangers of the sea. In 1683, its career tragically ended when the ship was destroyed in a devastating fire. This event marked the end of a proud chapter in Hamburg's maritime history. Between 1669 and 1683, the Wappen von Hamburg undertook a total of 11 convoy voyages, nine of which were to the Iberian Peninsula, with one to England and one to the Northern Arctic. In 1685, the Admiralty considered building a new ship, as operating with two ready convoy ships would significantly increase the number of convoys on different routes, thereby boosting revenue. However, the new ship was planned to be smaller than the previous Swappen von Hamburg, mainly due to cost reasons. 
the idea was to design a smaller convoy ship with 30 to 40 cannons. In September 1685, the Hamburg City Council approved 30,000 thalers and decided to build the new ship. The successor, the Wappen von Hamburg II, was completed in 1686 and, despite the initial plans, had similar dimensions and armament to its predecessor. In total, there were four convoy ships named Wappen von Hamburg, serving the city of Hamburg from 1669 to 1747, until the escorting of convoys by convoy ships was eventually discontinued. The Wappen von Hamburg is not only a fascinating chapter in maritime history but also a popular subject for model builders and historians. Various models and reconstructions of the ship have been created to preserve the maritime tradition of the Hanseatic city of Hamburg and keep the impressive history of the ship alive. One particularly noteworthy model is located at the Port Museum Hamburg. This museum offers an extensive collection of historic ships, ship models, and maritime artifacts. The model of the Wappen von Hamburg is intricately detailed, providing a vivid impression of the original ship's construction and features. Visitors can explore various aspects of the ship, including its armament and design, gaining insight into the strategic importance the ship held for protecting Hamburg's trade routes. Another significant model of the Wappen von Hamburg is displayed at the German Maritime Museum in Bremerhaven. This museum documents the development of seafaring in Germany, and the replica of the Wappen von Hamburg is presented alongside other historical models that illustrate the evolutionary history of maritime technology. This museum not only provides a platform for model builders but also hosts workshops and lectures to enhance understanding of the importance of these ships. Additionally, digital reconstructions of the Wappen von Hamburg can be found in several online resources and virtual museums. These digital models offer the opportunity to experience the ship in all its glory, often accompanied by animations that demonstrate its maneuvers and combat operations. Overall, the various models and reconstructions of the Wappen von Hamburg help preserve the legacy of this significant ship and inspire future generations with its maritime history. They serve as a testament to the craftsmanship and historical knowledge that went into shipbuilding and as a tribute to Hamburg's seafaring tradition. Thanks for watching.